Hi guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and in Monster Hunter World, you will constantly find yourself strapped for Zenny, the in-game currency. You use this for everything from buying potions, making upgrades, and more. But don't worry, there are two surefire ways to make a lot of money, and you'll never be worried about Zenny again. Number two, Might Seeds. So Might Seeds are kind of a tradition in every Monster Hunter game. They are simple nuts that you can find earlier on in the game that sell for a lot of money. You can find them in the Wild Spire Waste. I'm going to show you a very easy way to find it. Open up your map by hitting that center button. Hit R1 to filter to gathering points. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And then you can find the nuts here and it says Might Seeds. So go ahead and press R3 and that will mark it. And now our bugs will lead us directly to the Might Seed. This is another good reason to do a tour of the maps and really just collect everything because as you collect stuff it will fill up your map and you'll be able to use shortcuts like this all the time and trust me it's really convenient. Here we go. See that in our inventory here. So you can see here they sell for well over a hundred zenny a piece but we are not going to be going around collecting and selling these one by one. That's not efficient. So midway through low rank, so pretty early in the game, you're going to unlock this area here. It's not going to look as gorgeous, um, but this is the research center in which you can farm items. So when you talk to this guy, you'll be able to cultivate. Um, I can cultivate mite seeds, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, but basically, you choose an item. You choose an item here, a fertilizer to make them grow even faster. And then as you hunt, you can come back and claim a bunch of different rewards. Now, what we're going to be doing, obviously, is just farming mite seeds. You'd be surprised at well over 100 zenny a pop, when you have like 99 in stacks of that, you can be selling that for easily over 10,000 zenny very early on in the game. Now in order to unlock might seeds for the cultivation, you will have to clear a quest. So after you kill the Tobi Kadachi in the story mode as you go through low rank, you will unlock this optional quest called Persistent Pests. This is the one that you're going to need to clear, so let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so for this quest, all you have to do is slay some Hornitors. These are just little grasshopper-like creatures. Again, using your map, this could be a very easy way to find them, is to go and filter it to small monsters. Let's zoom in there. And let's go up a level. If we notice here, we have Vespoids over here. And we have Hornitors. So go ahead and hit R3. What's over here, though? Some more Hornitors and Vespoids. So let's go ahead and lock on one of these guys and the bugs will lead the way. So these are the little guys you need to kill. All you got to do is do something like that, boink, and kill 14 of these things and you are done. Easy peasy. And after that, you'll be able to farm and make mite seeds and rack in the money. Now, I do recommend this if you are stuck in the game or if you really want money for some reason. But honestly, number one is so good that you can almost skip that one and go straight to it. And that is the bandit mantle. So as you are going through low rank when you're near the end and you're on the 5 star quest, you will get an optional quest from the armory called this one, the Redefining the Power Couple. And this is a pretty hard quest. It's against a Rathalos and a Rathian, um, but if you take your time, you can probably take them down. But trust me, this is one optional quest you do not want to skip. Go ahead and clear it and the armory will give you a new mantle called the Bandit Mantle. Just go over here to change equipment. And here we can choose the bandit mantle. You can see it lasts for three full minutes and it just says causes monsters to drop rare trading items when you attack them. But wait till you see this thing in motion. It is ridiculous. I'm just going to go on a low rank quest here against a Puke Puke so I can show you how this thing works. So we're almost at the monster as you can tell we're going to go ahead and put on the bandit mantle once we run into it. There he is. So put on our bandit mantle and we are ready to go three minutes go. So what it does is as you attack the monster, it will start to drop items. Wait for it. See that little glow right there? That means that it just activated. And again, this thing activates non-stop. Look at all these items it's dropping. <laughs> Let's go pick some of these up, shall we? There's one, oh, one, two, three, sorry, okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go, we've cleared the quest. Let's pick up some more. It's another. 
Now if you notice we're picking up large scales, remember that, and as we go to high rank we'll actually pick up items that are even more rare. So the great thing about this method is you're going to be hunting anyways. So if you just put on the bandit mantle and you start attacking monsters like you would anyway, you'll be able to drop items that you can sell for some massive cash. Okay, now that we're back here, let's go ahead and sell these and I'll show you how much money you actually just made. Let's go over here to sell items. Go ahead and filter it over using R2 to the monster items. Press R3 to sort and they're at the very end here. So here we go, we got the large scales. We've got 18, these sell for 1,000 zenny. So you just do one hunt or so and boom, you'll have over 10,000 zenny straight off the bat. And as you go and you do this on high rank monsters, you'll be able to get stuff that sells for 2,000 zenny and even wants to sell for three or even 5,000 zenny, which is crazy. I'll include this tip in an upcoming video, but once you are swimming in zenny, go ahead and buy the power charm and armor charm from the shop and put them in your item pouch. You'd be surprised how many people don't understand this item, but it is so good. So if you go over here, you'll notice very expensive. He sells the power charm and the armor charm. If you buy these and put them in your item pouch that you actually take in you with hunts, and the power charm will raise your base attack power and your armor charm will raise your base defense. And it'll surely help you out a lot down the line and you'll never take it out of your item pouch again. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Definitely get that bandit mantle and use it all the time. And until next time, happy zenny hunting.